Hey guys, so today's video is so exciting. I haven't been this excited to film a video in a really long time. So on Monday, I got this bad boy in the mail and I have been dying to film a review on it ever since. I mean, it's been like two days, but still, I've been dying to film a review. This is the brand new Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette. This is volume one. I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot more palettes. I absolutely love the packaging on this. It is very simple, but I like it. It has this amazing soft touch. It's very sleek, it's very thin. Perfect for traveling because the mirror on this is probably one of the best mirrors I've seen on an eyeshadow palette. Ever. It takes up the entire palette and the actual mirror is really really good quality and This is what the eyeshadows look like. Oh my gosh. The color selection is so Beautiful. This really is a perfect neutral palette, but it still has a little bit of something extra It has these really warm orangey tones and then you have these really fun berry shades And I love the way that this palette is set up by the way I'm just jumping into the review in case you didn't know <laughs> You have four rows and each row is different. You have your glitter shadows, your metallic shadows, your sequin shadows, which are like matte shades with glitter in them. I love, I cannot wait to swatch these sequin shades because I love me a good sequin eyeshadow. And then the last row are your matte shades. So I love how this is set up. It's so organized. I feel like a Virgo would love it. <laughs> and I really like the colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the shades for you right now on my arm In case you haven't seen any swatches online, which I'm sure you have but just in case there are so many reviews on this palette online already But so many of you guys have been asking for my opinion on it Which I really appreciate guys by the way like even though there are so many reviews on this palette online already The fact that you guys are waiting for mine just makes me feel so good inside. Thank you I really appreciate that the fact that you guys value my opinion like really really means a lot I cannot express that enough to you so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these because I have been waiting for this video to swatch them actually let me swatch a couple like right here on camera let's see let's see I have been eyeing this bad boy for a hot minute oh so smooth oh my god that's beautiful <gasps> that's beautiful oh my god <gasps> oh my god that is so lovely let me see I'm gonna swatch one of the glitters this one is calling my name oh whoa Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so intense. <gasps> Holy guacamole. This metallic fiery shade is calling my name. Look at that. Oh, that's very pretty. And then I just want to swatch this brown really quick. These long nails are driving me so crazy. I got these nails for Halloween because I was an angel for my Halloween party. But oh my gosh, how do you guys do it? How do you guys have nails this long? These things get in everything. Wow, this matte feels so creamy and buttery. Wow, wow. Okay, but let me go ahead and officially swatch them. Now we can jump into the eye look. I don't know what I'm gonna do at all. There's so many options. I feel extremely overwhelmed right now. Um, la, 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 la. I definitely wanna use some glitter. You know what, let's just go ahead and dive in and see where this takes me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the P. Louise Makeup Base in Rumor 02. These nails also don't let you get right up in your inner corner. It's very frustrating. Also, forget about putting on necklaces. You'll never be able to put on a necklace ever again. I hope you have a roommate. I also can't open my cans of Perrier anymore because I feel like I'm gonna rip my nail off. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so I always just like to let my primer sit on my eyes before I go in with eyeshadow. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna put something on my lips. 
Let's see how this goes. So I just recently got this in the mail and I know this is super old. Too Faced has had these lip injections forever, but are the lip injections extreme? new because this says lip injection extreme and I don't ever remember them saying extreme. I remember them feeling extreme, but I don't remember them saying that. Oh my gosh, this actually matches my nails. Like the liquid inside looks just like my nails. <gasps> Adorable, but anyway, I actually tried this for the first time in Sephora years and years and years ago And I remember feeling like I had just gotten stung by 80 bees on my mouth and it was an awful feeling But it did leave my lips nice and plump so I'm gonna try this out right now though because I want a nice juicy pout for my look and I kind of feel like my lips are very dry I just want them to look a little bit more oomph. So let's see. I'm gonna pop this on while I do my eyes. This doesn't even smell healthy. Okay. So far so good. Can't feel a thing. All right, so let's jump into this palette. Another thing I really like about it is that you can just completely fold it back so it's easy to hold, but it will definitely get your mirror all fingerprinty. Like I just got mine. But just saying. I'm gonna go into Matte Aura and this is gonna be my brow bone shade. Starting to, starting to feel a tingle. I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, Matte Soothe, and I'm gonna use this as my crease color. Okay, so this eyeshadow applied so nicely. It's very pigmented, very creamy. When I first started applying this color on this eye, I did start off little by little. I didn't apply too much. Like I didn't pick up too much on the brush and it did build up so nicely, but it's also a very pigmented color to where you can go in heavy handed and it'll look pretty intense, but it's very, very easy to blend out. It's a very buttery kind of matte. There's no skipping or anything like that. Honestly, a super creamy, yummy matte. I really liked it. By the way, uh, my lips are on fire. I really, really, really wanna use the shade Soothe Sequin because it just swatches so beautifully. That would look gorgeous all over the lid. But I wanna do something a little bit more like oomphy. That is definitely like an everyday kind of look for me. But I wanna add a little bit more color. Hm. I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna deepen my outer corners with the shade. There is some kick up when you put your brush into the pan, like a significant amount of powder does kick up with this shadow specifically, but honestly, it's nothing that bothers me. And as long as it blends good and it's pigmented, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, Metallic Ritual. This one, very pretty. It's such a gorgeous bronze, and I think it would look pretty all over the lid with a little bit of the pink shimmer as well. Oh, this shimmer actually picks up really, really well with a brush. Some shimmers don't, like they, most shimmers, I would say, apply better with your fingers. I mean, no matter what shimmer it is, I always apply it with my fingers, like nine times out of 10. Now I'm gonna take another metallic shade, but I'm gonna take Poet color right here and I'm gonna apply that right in the center okay I'm gonna go back into matte poet and just intensify the outer corners yeah this is definitely the only one that has kick up so far but it still blends out really nicely back into metallic poet I'm gonna intensify that as well okay so I just quickly cleaned up my under eyes a bit with a white 
doing the outer corners with that matte poet. Okay, I'm gonna take this sequin amazingness right here on my finger. And I'm just gonna tap that on top of that metallic pink just to add a little, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. is gorgeous oh my gosh that would probably stick a lot better with some glitter glue underneath but it's so pretty I'm gonna take the matte black in the palette and I'm gonna deepen up the outer corners just a bit really 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 close to my lashes That black is so good that I barely touch it with my brush and so much comes off. Like it's very, very pigmented, very black. A little goes a long way. I really like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this really pretty champagne glitter right here and I'm gonna use this on the inner corners of my eyes, kind of, well, like in my inner crease. I'm just gonna draw a little line on my inner crease, like a little glitter liner. Let's see how this goes. I'm not the best when it comes to working with glitter, especially these little glitter cut crease situations. See, like I'm missing a little spot right here. Um, but I tried my best. <laughs> I feel like I look so stupid. Like they are totally uneven and they are too fat. Dang it. I'm gonna clean up my face. There's a bunch of glitter on it, but I'm pretty much done with the eyes. Pretty simple, I know. I thought I was gonna get creative for once, but nope. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna do my face makeup off of camera just so that this video isn't a million years long. And then I will jump back on to finish the eyes. Okay, so like I said, I applied all of my face makeup off camera, but I actually added a little bit more eyeshadow off camera as well. And all I did was take some of the matte memory shade, the deep black, on this laser brush right here. This is the T14 from the Makeup Shack. And I just took some of that directly in my crease right here in the outer corners to kind of connect it to the bottom. And I think it creates a really cool cut in the eyeshadow. It's not a cut crease, but I think it looks really cool. I really, really like it. I think it added a nice tosh. I made it a little bit different. It was looking very similar to like the last 10 looks I did. So adding that just made it a little bit more intense. And I really, really like it. That black is so, so good. If you're wondering what's on the rest of my face, by the way, I mixed these two foundations, the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation and the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. I also used the Pretty Fresh Primer, by the way. And then for concealer, I used my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. Set that with my Thrive Cosmetics Powder. And then for bronzer, an oldie but a goodie, I used the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer, one of my faves. I just hadn't used it in so long. And then for blush, I am wearing the Buxom Havana Blush with the Milk Makeup Lit Highlight on top. And that's my face. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eye makeup. I actually don't want it to be so, so smoky. Usually I go ham on my lower lash line because I love that super smoky look. But I just wanna add a little bit of black really, 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 really close to the lashes. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of that matte brown to blend it out a little bit more. But yeah, let's do it. I did get smoky after all. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some eyeliner to my waterline and cosmetics black. And now I'm 
actually gonna try out a new mascara I've never used before. This is from the brand Lily Lashes. I just bought this off of Sephora, and this is the Triple X mascara. So let's try. Oh my gosh, I didn't apply anything to my inner corners. Absolutely not. I'm gonna take the metallic aura shade right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And highlight my inner corners. Okay, now mascara. <laughs> mascara the formula is very thin and it kind of makes your lashes feel like fluttery and wispy <gasps> I think I really like that okay the eyes are completely done I'm just gonna pop on my lip really quick I'm taking the ColourPop lippy pencil in BFF and then I'm going in with the M Cosmetics caramel glaze lip gloss Okay guys, so that completes this look. I really, really enjoyed how it turned out. Even though I got carried away with the thickness of the glitter on my inner corners. I really love the black outer corners and I love how these colors look together. This palette is absolutely beautiful. Every swatch is stunning. The blend on these shadows is incredible. Obviously, I haven't used all of them, but so far the ones that I've used are really good. Like the mattes that I've used are amazing. They're so creamy and they blend out so nicely. Like this shade is so yummy and this black was so easy to use. Not too harsh, not too intense. It was easy to blend out it doesn't give you like that patchy look. It's really, really good. And even the glitter I was impressed with. I didn't use a glitter adhesive or anything like that. I just stuck it on my eye and it stayed there. Yes, I had some fallout, but for the most part, it all stayed stuck to my eyes and I didn't use a glitter glue, so that's impressive. The sequins I used were really nice. The metallics I used were really nice. Honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about it, at least not yet. I love the packaging. I love the formula so far. I like the color story a lot. It's a neutral palette, but it's not a boring palette. It's it definitely makes you want to use it. So I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to play around with this even more and use it so much more. Let me know if you guys are planning on picking this palette up or maybe you already have. Just let me know how you feel in the comments below. But honestly, just based off of the swatches, based off of this look, how the colors blend, based off of everything, I highly recommend this palette so far. I feel like this is also very beginner friendly because the eyeshadows are so easy to work with and the formula is so nice that it kind of blends itself. And okay, I'm gonna stop rambling at this point but anyway guys that completes this video i hope you enjoyed this video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you so 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 much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye